Today, my friends, we are going to performance logic to do a dyno test. After having the center resonator removed and swapped out for those patch pipes, which are leaking slightly, so I'm gonna to have to go back to Simon's custom exhausts and have him repair them. Gonna go on the dyno, find out if there's any power difference. We know now that there's definitely about a 10% increase in the volume level of the exhaust when it's in dynamic, so when you're behind it, 10% louder. We're gonna find out if there's any more power to be had now. Also, I wanna find out if changing the spark plugs has fixed the misfire. So under some load conditions, the car has a misfire. Let me show you one of these knackered spark plugs. Please excuse the mountain of stuff. So Scott at GLR Services, he knows that I don't trust Volkswagen, uh, I don't trust Audi anymore with service history. So he has kept for me the old spark plugs. So he's swapped them. That spark plug has had a hard life. Apparently that's done 30,000 miles, but look how minging it is. It's totally black. Anyway, they're all like that. Apparently Audi changed them 30,000 miles ago. Now, if you believe that, you believe anything. So this is why I now get my spares returned to me and Scott understands me. He knows that's what I want, he's happy to do it. He's using genuine parts anyway, he's got nothing to hide. So he can go into the car's history and he can register the servicing that he's done to the car and now we can start fixing all the stuff that Audi's missed. So next time it was in, he's going to do the gearbox fluids and a full oil and filter change for me as well. But today's mission is exhaust testing. So let's head to Performance Logic and we'll see how the car does on the dyno see if we make any more power. So last time we were at 559 horsepower, that was the best run of the day. Now, no changes to the map, but let's see if there's any difference to the horsepower. Before we get in on dyno, I've got my VCDS plug in there, formerly known as VAGCOM or VAGCOM. I uh, just connected the laptop. There's so many sensors that I can choose from here. Uh, the focus is maybe a bit patchy, but if I put in temperature, there's maybe about 50 different temperature sensors that I can pick from. So I'm just gonna log some of these, like I'll get the temperature from the two turbos, um, get the intake, charge temperature, and a few of the other ones. There's engine oil as well. There's a couple of different places to get engine oil from. So there's so many sensors in this car uh, and you can log them all. The only limit here is that you can only log 12 at a time, which is a bit of a pest because you have to log in batches. But I'm gonna get some logs so that we can check the temperatures because uh, we might be getting a custom charge cooler radiator made by Jamspeed. Anyway, I'll just set up some logs on the laptop here before we start doing our runs. showing me on the screen here is where the misfires are happening in the car. So the torque curve looks pretty good, but there's very clear misfires happening. 
And when that happens, the horsepower figure drops out for the misfire and then spikes up above the line. So when we look at the peak horsepower for these runs, it's 569. But that's not actually a real number, because if you have a look there, that 569 is happening at the top of this error. But he put the cursor on the screen and he tracked this part here, and that is the peak horsepower for the run, which is at 563 horsepower. So four horsepower up from the standard exhaust, but that could be well within the fluctuations of a colder day because it was two degrees colder. That's perfect. <laughs> you get points for that. Well, that misfire hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, the car is actually running rough now on idle, so I'm not sure what's causing the misfire. It's not the spark plugs, they've just been changed, so maybe the coil packs are uh, on the way out. I'll speak to Scott at JLR, we'll figure out a way forward. But generally speaking, results from the centre resonator delete. We had a 559 horsepower measurement before, and we've just done a 563 at its peak few horsepower of a difference in it that could be accounted for in the fact that it's about two degrees colder today than it was when we first ran the car yeah i guess pub numbers it's worth six horsepower it's worth a one percent gain in the power of the car but in real terms the only difference this is going to make is sound it does sound much better the car pops and crackles more often and when you put the car under load and accelerate, you do hear more noise coming out the back. That's when it's 10% louder. Most of the time in the cabin or sitting in comfort mode, it's the same volume level that it was before. No major gain in horsepower. It's probably within the fluctuations of temperature. So if you're doing this for power, look somewhere else, but it does sound much better. Deeper exhaust note, more crackles, and when you're under load, 10% louder. I can totally recommend it because it's so cheap to do and the car sounds much better as, as a result. So um, no power to be gained, but it does sound better. Well, thank you for watching. We've had a couple of videos now about the exhaust testing. We do have more because we've got decap pipes coming, but maybe we had to fix this misfire first. So watch this space. Let us know in the comments box down below what you think. Uh, let us know what we should do to the RS6 next. Other than fix the misfire, that's kind of becoming my priority now. Uh, but thank you for watching, I hope you're enjoying the Audi videos, let us know what else we should try. There's not a lot of people messing around with an Audi RS6. Thank you for watching, look after yourselves, we'll see you in the next video.